Today I would like to talk to you about multimeters. Quite often I see on forums people saying what does this wire do, how's it connected this, where does this wire go, what's it for, it's a red one, it's a blue, whatever. The thing is you can't tell by looking at it, sometimes you can make an educated guess. However, you should also check to make sure that whatever you're working on or going to work on is dead. You do that by using a multimeter. Don't use a, ne a neon screwdriver because a neon screwdriver isn't reliable. Trust me. And voltage pen indicators, mm, no. They have their place. Most of it is in the bin, but I wouldn't trust one because sometimes I tell you it's live when it isn't and sometimes when it isn't live they'll say it's dead and again it isn't. You should always use a multimeter and test it on a known live source before you do anything. But I'm not saying go ahead and buy a multimeter and go checking out mains cables. No, 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 no. Mains has no prejudices. Get it wrong, it will kill you. What I do suggest you do is buy a multimeter, check it on low voltage stuff, buy a 9 volt battery, see the voltage of that, check fuses, check resistance of kettles, learn how to use your meter first before you actually use it on mains. This isn't a main, this is not a meter tutorial, this is just my opinion of several multimeters. This meter here you can get from eBay for about five or six pounds. The thing is to say with these particular meters is that the leads are really awful. So you think, oh I know what, I'll buy a proper set of meter leads and plug them in. <laughs> no you won't, because They don't actually fit. You see this one, the proper one, it, the whole lead is shrouded. This one isn't, which is why it doesn't plug into an ordinary, into one of these cheapo meters. That's why I don't actually recommend this meter. It's really okay but the leads say no. One that isn't so bad is this one. This one comes from, it's made by LAP. It's um, available from several places, namely Screwfix. It's about 20 odd pound. It's better quality and the leads are actually pretty reasonable. But my own personal meter could say it's the Rolls Royce of meters. It's a fluke. No, it's not a fluke as in, oh dear, he's got, that's a fluke. It, the brand is called Fluke. You don't want to know how much one of these is, but you can see the meter leads are well, well used. The condition is marvelous. And um, yes, so by all means, Try not to buy one of these. You want to see how accurate they are? Right, let's zoom in. There we go, right. Checking the battery, it says 12.63. Let's do this one. Twelve point five six. And let's see what the fluke says. Twelve point five eight. They're all saying pretty much the same, so it's not all that bad at all. But um the choice is really up to you. The more you spend on a meter, the better the quality is most of the time. So personally if you're looking for a meter I would for the time being suggest this one from Screwfix. As always thank you for watching. 